The Fanthorpe Investigations The Catacomb Phenomenon We were working on a book commission that needed some additional on-site research into Roman history. And having visited and investigated the locations that we needed for the book, we decided it would be a good idea to explore the catacombs while we were there. The catacomb of St. Calixtus appealed to us as a good starting point, and when we reached it, a party of about 15 people was preparing to accompany the guide into its intriguing depths. We were disappointed to see notices up everywhere to the effect that photography was not permitted, so I hung back from the group at an appropriate point on the tour as I particularly wanted to take some photographs. Patricia made sure that I could still see her while she, in turn, kept the group and our tour guide in sight. I had taken five or six pictures when I felt a hand on my shoulder from behind. Two possibilities occurred to me. A catacomb security officer hoping to confiscate my camera, or a mugger. As a third Dan martial arts instructor, I rather hoped it was a prospective mugger. It turned out to be neither. I looked round slowly to see who or what it was. The figure was dressed entirely in black with conical headgear that joined its long cloak. Nothing of the face was visible, but there were narrow eye slits. The strangest thing of all was the feeling that accompanied it. There was nothing sinister, nothing hostile, nothing weird or frightening, despite its odd appearance. The feeling that emanated from the strange hooded figure was intense curiosity. I sensed that it wanted to know who and what I was and what the camera was. Very, very slowly, it began to fade until it vanished altogether. I caught up with Patricia and we rejoined the main party unobtrusively. There was a sequel, however. Back in our hotel that evening, I saw the figure again, but only peripherally. This time it was much smaller, only about four feet high, yet otherwise the same in every detail. Within a few seconds, it faded away again. We have never seen it since. One interesting theory came our way when we were discussing the episode with an historian friend who was something of an expert on the catacombs, early burial customs there, and costumes of the period. He told us that costumes similar to that worn by the strange entity that I had encountered in the Calixtus catacomb had been used by priests conducting funerals there centuries ago. As part of my work as a priest today, I frequently conduct funerals. Was it another funeral priest from long ago that I had encountered in the catacomb? Was he aware of what I did and curious about the differences between our work? We can only guess. The inimitable Lionel Fanthorpe there. The Fanthorpe investigations were produced by Paul Arnold. And that was the last of our priestly stories of the paranormal, but if you miss the others, you can hear them again here during the week in the seventh dimension as an extra treat. <laughs>